If you'd like to become better at reading body language, take a look at children. Children are a study in the extreme. When they're happy about something, they're really happy. When they're excited about something, they're super excited. And when they're angry, ah, they're angry. You can see it all over. It's written all over them. Adults show those same behaviors. They're just more muted. They're more toned down. So if you can spot them in children, you can start to look for them in adults. Take, for example, when a child is happy about something. What do they do? Uh, many times you'll see them lift their arms up. They'll get up on their tippy toes and bounce around. This is called elevating. And adults will use elevating too when they're happy about something. If somebody's giving a presentation or contributing to a conversation, they're happy about what they're saying, you'll see them stand up on the balls of their feet very briefly. Or if they're sitting down, they might raise their thumb. Or if they're sitting with their legs crossed, you might see the foot come up and be held there for a little bit. That's elevating. Right? They're happy about something, and that can be some good feedback. You can also see some of the, the more what we might consider negative emotions when somebody's a bit upset. When a child is upset for perhaps being called out on a lie by mum, what might he do? He might sort of step behind a piece of furniture so the furniture is behind him and mum, that's called a blocking behavior. Right? Adults will do the same thing. If you're having a very difficult conversation with somebody and you're asking some tough questions, uh, you might notice that they get a little bit anxious at times. They might cross their arms or, or move a laptop in the way or a tissue box. And those are blocking behaviors and that can be an indication that perhaps they're uncomfortable. Another way that children show that they're excited about the prospect of something that's going to happen is by rubbing their hands together vigorously, and adults will do the same thing. Take, for example, if you're in the middle of a negotiation, you're negotiating the price of something that you're selling. Perhaps you're selling your car, the other person asks you how much you're selling it for, you give your price, and then you see this. Uh, a very brief rub of the hands. Guess what? They like the price. They love it. Now, typically in negotiation, they might want to bargain. They might want to go back and forth to see if they can get that price lower. But guess what? If they rub their hands together, they like the price, and you really don't need to negotiate a whole lot. So there's a couple of examples. Take the extreme in body language for children and look for the more subtle examples in adults, and you'll become better at reading body language.